Today I'm going to show you how to make dope watercolour text in Illustrator using just one tool. Find out how to do that next in today's tutorial. What is up people, welcome back to Tutorial Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. If you want to improve your skills in Illustrator and as a designer in general, then subscribe to Satori Graphics for weekly graphic design content. The first thing that you need to do to make watercolour text in Illustrator is to choose your colours. Press M for the rectangle tool and then make some squares using various different colours. When you actually have those squares created, select them all and then align them in the align window like so. This will be our colour palette for the watercolour text much like how you'd mix paint together when actually painting on paper. There are two keyboard shortcuts that we're going to be toggling between today throughout the tutorial. One of them is U on your keyboard, which is the mesh tool, and then the other one is I for the eyedropper tool. Everything is going to make sense next. You can see the two tools being toggled here in the toolbar menu. We're going to make the base for our watercolour text, and to do that we want to make an elliptical kind of shape with the ellipse tool. Press A for the direct selection tool and adjust the anchor points to transform the shape into a more thicker ellipse. Today's watercolour effect is more superior than any other kind of gradient that you can make with the gradient tool, and this is because the gradient spreads across the design in all directions. And now I'm going to show you how to make it with just one tool. That worn tool is actually the mesh tool by the way, and like I said before, you need to press U on your keyboard to access it. Once you've accessed the tool, click once in the middle of your shape. You will then notice some contours appear. So now we'll go ahead and add a few more contour lines, but remember for this effect, less is always more. After watching this video, you will have a better understanding of where to place your contour lines with the mesh tool. You can also press A for the direct selection tool and adjust your contour lines like so. Now pay close attention to what I'm about to do. We're going to toggle between U and I on the keyboard. So press U for the mesh tool and then click a spot on your design. Then press I for the eyedropper tool and select a colour from your palette above. You'll notice that your colour has dropped onto the design like a watercolour drop onto paper. Then you press U again to repeat the process over and over. This is an awesome technique because you can add gradients all over your design in unique different ways. So as you can see here, my colour base is taking shape and you can continue to edit the anchor points and handles with the direct selection tool. It's important to take your time and to make an interesting and neat base for the watercolour text which we're going to add next. So when you're finally ready, press T for the type tool and it says command T on screen, but that's just a mistake. However, you can press command or control T to actually bring up the type window and here you can select your font and character style. I'm going for Helvetica today and also I'm going to use a very low kerning value so the text is closer together and the watercolour effect can be spread more across the text itself. Place your text over the watercolour design and then adjust its size and position until you see fit. Then head into the Pathfinder window and turn the text into a compound shape. This will allow us to make the final step which is to apply a clipping mask by right or control click in the selection. And there you have it, some wonderful watercolour text using the mesh tool in Illustrator. Let me know what you thought of today's effect and if you're going to be using it for your very own graphic designs. Like and share my content on social media if you do find my videos useful and you want to help out my channel. I'm going to be back later this week with yet more graphic design content for you guys. And if you have any kind of requests for the future in this channel, just pop them down in the comment section below. I always read and answer as many comments as possible. 
Even though I'm really busy with many different projects and videos, I still take my time to answer you guys. But yeah, anyway, until next time, design your future today. Peace.